What's up guys, it's Jacob, and today we're going to be playing some more Sims, because I thoroughly enjoyed our last Sims episode. It's always very surreal to just see what's happening every time I load up this game. Santa Claus is here for some reason, which I don't know why. We made a bunch of money last episode. With all this money, we're going to be doing ourselves a little bit of an experiment, a child breeding sort of thing. What is the wife's fit? Oh, so... Perfect, she's already almost at level 10. Last episode, or like a couple episodes ago, if you're really confused, uh, go back and watch the previous episodes, but I'll try to do my best explaining them. I'll leave those in the description if you wanna check them out regardless. So I was trying to do a money exploit and put my wife through pregnancy and get these little bassinets, but that didn't work. So she's just been chilling in the pool, getting her fitness level up to 10. So I thought, while she's getting her fitness level up to 10, with the baby inside, maybe we can breed some sort of LeBron James child, professional athlete, to make us even more money. Now, this might not what you had in mind for a nice little come-up story from a professional athlete, because, you know, some of them are fatherless or homeless or really, really poor, you know. Some of them have their ups and downs through their childhood, but <laughs> this child is only going to be down. All right, Mabel, keep swimming. Get that fitness up to level 10, and I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm sorry, what the hell is he doing? Showering in the rain. Oh, he's yelling at the vacuum. What did the vacuum do? All right, all right. So some good news. We got two days worth of royalties of cash from our YouTube. And Mabel here finally hit fitness level 10. So we're going to finally let her out and have that child. Probably thought she'd never see the day that she'd be let out of her little prison. Is this a sure shot? <laughs> Mabel is sweaty and miserable. Is this a sure sign that she dislikes fitness? Yes. All right, now where's the child? Pop it out. What are you waiting for? All right, but it's a boy. His name is LeBron James. Jamez. LeBron Jamez. Stay right there in your mother's arms just for a second. All right, it's time to build the facility that he'll be spending his entire life at. So let's make some room here. And there, the little smelly rascal LeBron Jamez was born. Wait, how did Uncle Ray gain so much weight? No, Uncle Ray, you will not be taking care of him. Matter of fact, you're in the dungeon until further notice. But yeah, here, here's LeBron Jamez's practice facility. This is where he'll spend the rest of his days. He's got plenty of workout equipment, and of course, he's got a basketball hoop. All right, uncle, you go back to doing your own thing. The, uh, the wife Mabel here will take care of this, all right? Mabel Shoe. Locked door for everyone but uncle, so now only he could go into his little studio and make videos. No, uncle, put the baby down. Got some drip on, he's like, well, you know, first impressions matter. Soon that baby bottle will be a basketball, LeBron. All right, Uncle Ray, you're doing a lot of worrying here. I need you to go back to the gaming facility. The other worker can take care of it, AKA your wife. Matter of fact, I don't really want to wait around for the baby to age up. Can I just use cheats? I'm actually gonna look that up real quick. Oh, look at Uncle Ray showing his son how it's done. All right, Uncle, I'll let you do the honors, honestly, because you just seem most capable. He's gonna be independent. He's gonna be the king, King Jamez. And just like that, you're older, and I can sell your bassinet, and so you have nowhere to sleep now. Oh, it's Dylan, the guy I have an affair with. He just congratulated me on the new addition to the family. He's now learned how to think. Before, that wasn't possible. Aw, oh, son of a bitch, these guys are back again. I haven't seen them in a few episodes, but... They might be here to kidnap my child or brainwash him, and honestly, I don't even care. The lot here has definitely filled up since we've started, and it's, it brings a smile to my face and Uncle Ray's. He's so excited about this series, and so am I. Why did he just stop painting to go hoop? That's the son's job. Your job is to get famous, so your son has lots of media attention. Can you please finish the painting, Ray? And then I'm just gonna build him a bed, because I'm honestly sick and tired of him thinking that he's the man of the house when really I am. Are right, the kids starting to get stinky, and he's a little brat. Look at the mess he made. He's just standing there idling. This is his life now. What is he even wearing? Who bought you those robes? Or is he wearing a bath towel because we can't afford pants? No, nope. you don't sleep in there, Uncle Ray. You sleep here now. This is your new little home. Locked door for everyone. There we go. Now he won't be able to get distracted by the child or the hoops or whatever. I guess you could say Uncle Ray isn't really homeless anymore. He has a home, just has no roof which honestly i might get on right now we have a roof now this is our home let me bonk this little random ceiling i had over the pool it's probably so my wife wouldn't get any daylight during her in imprisonment you a celebrity what a joke you're garbage just go away already no nancy you can go feck yourself all right lebron <laughs> look at him he's so confused he has no idea what kind of life he's gotten into all right i don't know how the kid ended up in a purple thong or whatever I, it wasn't me i swear wait i can make him look like an alien wear an alien diaper that's actually kind of sick he'll get bullied so much at school that he'll want to be a professional athlete all right there we go we're gonna skip school altogether and make lebron here young adult 
I only have a few athletic clothes to choose from. I don't know what half this stuff even is, and I'm pretty sure half of this is woman's clothing. I think it's safe that we should give him the uh, LeBron hairline. Hold on, could you turn around for me? There we go. Yeah, now he's a hooper. Hashtag baller swag. All right, there we go, and that's LeBron James. That's uh, who he's gonna be. Look at those quads, god damn. Oh, the poor bastard. Look at the mess he made. Oh, he's actually cleaning it up. He dislikes fitness. No, he loves fitness. Are you kidding me? Jim has his first dunk. Bruh. You've got to be kidding me. Here's another thing that I'm also going to do as well. Alright, so here is the club. We are called the Jamez Jackers. What's up, bro? This name's LeBron Jamez. I like to hoop and stuff. One day I'm gonna be in the NBA because I'm so good at the hoops. And for those of you probably wondering, yes, he is illiterate. He never went to school. He was just bred to be a professional athlete. And I decided to get a full starting lineup for his new Jamez Jack team as well. Jamez, when you invite your friends over, all I need you guys doing is you guys can play your hoops. You just need to clean up after yourselves, all right, bros? I'm just going to make them fight everyone because professional athletes amongst the teams, things happen. People get upset at each other. That and professional athletes are very known for beating their wives. I'm curious what he actually has to do for this career. Actually, let's get him a job first. Actually, you know, I thought of something. If we gave him a career as an athlete, he would technically have a job and he would be making money. So, this is a homeless challenge. So, I guess he's just going to have to do it the hard way. Oh, night on the town was awful. I'm very sorry about that, Mabel. Maybe you should have been taking care of our son. Look at them hooping it up. Getting some workouts in. Nice. Nice. Wait a second. What is he doing? Le LeBron, you're facing the wrong way. What are you doing, buddy? I've come up with an idea. They're going to be social influencers. Think of like Dude Perfect or some... All right, so real quick, I'm going to buy them a little recording studio so they can make their little basketball influencer videos. All right, you fellas, take it easy. I'm going to continue on my amazing art career as Uncle Ray being homeless. This is actually a weird change of pace. Imagine like they're the family gathering together. Oh yeah, my dad, he's just a bum. He just sits in the basement painting all day. He wants to become a professional painter. I should buy him a toilet now. Yeah, he's not an animal anymore. I mean, he can have a toilet at the very least. Yeah, don't clean that up. Just continue on with your stupid little painting. All right, finish the damn painting, would ya? Thank you. All right. No. Oh, he just started talking to himself, having a schizophrenic episode. Look at my little boy, all grown up. He's been alive for like two hours and he still hasn't even bathed. Oh, and he missed the dunk, and the ball landed on his head. Oh, never mind. All right, you're not my son. I'm abandoning you. All right, I decided to buy Ray this little window right in front of the shower to not only allow him to peep on the users of the shower, but just for him to just reminisce and miss the ways that he could once shower. Oh, I just made a bunch of money on royalties. All right, nice. Let's buy a shower, and let's definitely get a toilet. Considering he's almost never used a toilet in his entire life, maybe a potty training manual might be the move. Could I just bought him a bush this whole time for $55. I think pissing himself throughout the entire series was kind of iconic though. Look at that, he can shower now in his own little living space. He can be naked and no one will see him unless they're peeping through the window, in which case they would probably be showering as well. Because I really, uncle, you're like so hot. I already have my heart set on a one man, actually two men, my drug dealer, Dylan Sigworth. Wait, why are they hot? What? Wait. Uncle Ray is a girlfriend. Oh, so you guys are all professional athletes, but you can't fix a f shower? You guys are useless. It's gonna make a really good sequel that people have been wanting. Hungy Part 2. He's getting really tired. Well, because the dumbass doesn't know how to take care of himself. Feel free to, you know, become an adult anytime soon. Oh, did he just pee his pants? Oh, what a joker. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Di whoa. I guess like father, like son. Damn! Look at Mabel from downtown! She was like back here when she shot that. I know you had it in you, LeBron. I know you had it in you. Look at him. Okay, underhanded, you know that works. Open air natural toilet. There we go. That's where the toilet will be. Right in line of the street to all the public places, like the bar across the street. I believe there's a park down the road as well. Alright, Uncle Ray, he's working hard making them videos while his son tries to become a professional athlete. What a weird, weird family. What's all that noise? Oh, it's Mabel swimming. 
Yeah, that's definitely called Stockholm Syndrome, I believe. Ray, live my life just like you. Living like Larry, whatever. Piss off. Start up a new gathering. Let's get everyone back in town. While we can, upgrade the fitness as well. And they can all wear matching friendship bracelets, because that's cool. Yeah, feel free to use the bathroom. I know we just opened it up, and it's new to some of you guys, considering... Some of you guys have never even used a toilet before. Yeah, I'm really confused. I don't know how to adopt a pet, but maybe we can leave that for next episode. There we go. He finally hit two-star celebrity. Jesus, that took so long. Receive gifts in the mail? Ooh, yes, for sure. I like free shit. And I'm just gonna give him more noticeable so he earns more fame through careers, I guess. I didn't really read it. I can't read very well. What? Oh, oh, a fight's breaking out. Is that is that my wife, Mabel? Is she beating my son? Whoa! You can't do that! I uh, actually, is that my son? Yeah, it is my son. Mabel, you come out here right now. I'm gonna beat your ass. Really need to get this house cleaned. You know what? Maybe I'll just throw some carpet over it. Maybe I'll finally, like, actually change the look of this ugly shack. Look at Uncle Ray splurging his cash a little bit, getting this cute kitty cat wallpaper. All right, let's get some sort of floors done because these floors are extremely dirty and dusty. I'm just gonna try... I'm just gonna get grass just so he thinks he's actually outside, but really he's not. You know, it's just add on to the horrible reality of what his life actually is. How do I clean up dust? I'm actually gonna Google that because I'm starting to get really upset. Are you kidding me? You've needed a vacuum. I've had this little bastard doing feck all this whole time. I'm so pissed about that. Apparently you need like a real vacuum that your sim can actually use. Deep vacuum. Oh my god. You have no idea how long it took me to actually figure that out. But yeah, Uncle Ray is actually now perfectly sustainable on his own in this little house. And that was the objective of the challenge. Now after some thinking, I think I will have LeBron uh, join a career as an athlete. My only rules were really to get Uncle Ray to get a house while being homeless and not exactly having a job, doing odd jobs like painting and video creation. And he pretty much has already done that. So I, I think I just want to, you know, improve my capital gain and just have LeBron just become, I don't know, just make more money for me, I guess. There we go. Vacuum to perfection. Our home actually looks like a home now. Oh, oh, wait, no, hold on, there's some trash. I need to throw that away. But look at it, it actually looks like a functioning human being's home. If I would have known that I actually needed a vacuum and not this stupid little rat, ah, oh, man, it could have been a much cleaner place much quicker. Do some paintings for me, would you, Ray? Could you not stare at the window at the people showering, you pervert? All right, I think Uncle Ray is actually gonna leave the dungeon for once and host a little meet and greet. Oh, well, I can invite my ex-girlfriend, the woman that couldn't birth a child. <laughs> so I pretty much just dropped her off. Gonna use the bathroom in front of one of my uh, fans. Hopefully they don't take explicit pictures of me and post them on the internet. All right, Uncle Ray, start shooting around. Show them what you've learned through all those days in the dungeon. Oh, all the, all the fans are gone just like that after the meet and greet ended. Hey, Mabel, that is not your bedroom. Shoo. All right, I know I ain't the greatest fashion designer in the world, but our home is definitely coming together. Uncle Ray is pretty popular now, famous-wise. He's going to continue making videos and such. His son's going to continue hooping and start a, you know, a professional career in that. Making me some extra money in the process. Oh, wait, no, that's not even him. He's still at work. Okay, so that's just some random guy. Never mind. All right, but I've been recording for quite a while now. I'm definitely going to continue, I think, one more video on this little homeless challenge series and finally, finally wrap it up. I don't really have anything to do with the home. I just want to kind of end it off on a good note, because we've not only made a home, we've made a family, we've made a lot of personalities here, including Uncle Ray, which has definitely been one of the funnest parts of this series, is just messing around with Uncle Ray. Definitely had a lot of fun with him, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Be sure to check out the previous episodes down below in the description, uh, drop a like and subscribe, and I think that'll be it for Uncle Ray and the fam for now. Peace. Can I put my balls in your